In United States of America, there is a segment of people who believe that next time when Jesus comes, he will come in United States. Generally, it's believed he will come in Mount Olive in Jerusalem, but now US people are saying, why will he go to Israel? That's not a good place to go. He will come in United States. So they asked me a question like this in a large gathering, Sadhguru, what do you think? Jesus will come in United States or in Jerusalem? I said, see, last time he came in Jerusalem and he said, come follow me. Only twelve people, hmm? Today you are celebrating him as a great being, but only twelve people followed him. In that one of them freaked on him, all right? But if he comes to United States today, if he says, come follow me, you have a bank loan, student loan, car loan, house loan, holiday home loan, you are mortgage for forty-five years. <laughs> if Jesus says, come follow me, nobody will be there because everybody has to go to the bank. So you have entangled yourself in such a way, even if the most significant things happen, you can't change the direction of your life. Hello? If the greatest things came your way, you cannot change the direction of your life. This is a slave's life, isn't it? What is slavery? He cannot choose. That is slavery, isn't it? Now, you are making that kind of arrangements in your life, you cannot choose, you're stuck in your own arrangements. A spider whips a web for other things to be caught. But if you are that kind of a spider, you build a web in which you are caught, you are a stupid spider, isn't it? And most human beings are in that condition. <laughs> if something significant happens here, you are going this way, if something really significant happened this way, you can go this way, your arrangements will not trap you. This is an intelligent life. If you are smart enough, you will make arrangements that support you, not arrangements that entangle you, isn't it?